Shemitra's Vital Report in with the One Word Movement. And here today, joining me in the studio is Norvella. I want to welcome you to the studio, Norvella. Thank you. And Norvella, we're going to go right into the punchline because, you know, Monica has this one word movement going on. But as we kind of walk into that, your name is very unique. And so with a unique name like that, I bet you've got a unique one word. What is your one word? Very close. <laughs> it's Norvella, which is very different. Okay. And my unique word is unsilenced. Unsilenced. That was perfect because you have a unique word, unsilenced. So tell us, what does unsilenced mean? Well, unsilenced means you don't know my story. I am a confident woman today, but I have a hearing impairment. And most people would say that's a disability. Mm. But I look at it today as a different ability. Oh, wow. So if I heard you correctly, you said you are hearing impaired? Yes. But it's not a disability for you. No. Wow. And so I had no idea. So now I understand. Unsilenced. So let's hear a little bit about your testimony in this, what was a disability, but obviously it doesn't appear to be a disability. Right. It's a different ability. When I was about five years old, I had a ear infection. It started off as an ear infection. I couldn't hear. I would sit very close to the television. My parents or nobody would know that I had a hearing loss. So I went to the doctor and they found a hole in my eardrum. That's how it all started. And it went from a hole in my eardrum to what's called cholesteatoma, which is a tumor in both ears. Wow. So I've had numerous surgeries and the doctors say that I have 99.9% .9 hearing loss. Loss. 99.9% hearing, hearing loss. loss. Well, it doesn't appear that way because you're sitting here talking to me right now and it appears that you can hear me. Well, wow. Well, I read lips a lot and I wear hearing aids today that help me a little bit with sound, the direction of sound and hearing words. Wow. I'm just amazed by that and it just almost leaves me speechless, you know, just to hear that testimony. And so I'm sure, well, no, I know that there's somebody out there, because I actually know a couple of people who've actually taken in on what has been called the disability. But what would you say to someone who's taken that on and, you know, can't live past what they've been diagnosed with? I would say, don't say, why me? Say, why not me? It's not a disability. It's just a different ability. It's all in how you approach it. Put God first and know that through, all, through Christ, all things are possible. You can do whatever you achieve, even with a hearing loss. I've achieved it because of God's grace and mercy in my life. Put him first and you can do it. Guys, I'm speechless, but she said a different ability. Is that correct? Did I hit it right? Yes. So there are a number of people out there that I know when you watch this, you have a different ability. But you heard it from her and she said to just put God first, right? Yes. And I think it's amazing because what you've done is you've taken that unsilenced to a whole nother level. And for that, it's just amazing to just be able to sit here with you. Because now I believe because we're sitting here and we're talking, someone else out there who has been silenced is now going to speak up and they're going to speak out. So do you have anything that you'd like to say to that person that's been silenced? Yes, I would say be encouraged. Tell your story because it can help someone else. Don't be silent. Just because you don't hear doesn't mean you can't speak. Speak out. Because people say hearing aids is cosmetic. I say if you need a hearing aid, it's not cosmetic. It's something that's needed to function every day. Don't be silent. Tell your story. I just did. I'm unsilenced. <laughs> that's it, guys. <laughs>